Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back for the second installment. Well, I wouldn't really call it an installment because it's not like a long series, like the cut crease series that I've been doing, which you should be watching. This is more just like a two part thing and this is the second part and then it's gonna be done. Anyway, in my last video, we were trying out these. These are the Fever Lashes. We tried out these ones in the last video and had a little pink moment. I think now it is time to try out these. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you don't know what these are, I'd say just go back and watch my last video where I explain everything. There's no point me explaining it twice. I'd rather just get started and let's do it. So I'm thinking to take a similar kind of bird-like route with these lashes as I did with the last one. So I've got my base and eyebrows done and my hair looks like a bird's nest. I've done my base the exact same way as I did it in my last video. That's why I didn't show it on camera because you can just go back and watch that video to find out how I did it. So now I'm going to start with contouring. I don't think I'm going to go as like avant-garde as I did with the last videos I'm gonna do today, but I'm gonna try and stick with the bird theme. So I'm gonna start my contour with this. This is the Sleek Face Form Contour and Brush Palette. This is what I always use to contour my face. It's like, as you can see, it's not really dark, dark, but it's gonna add, start by adding some of that dimension that we want. So to deepen up the contours right in the hollows of my cheeks and maybe do a little nose contour, I'm going to take, this is the Maybelline 24 Carats Nudes palette. I know it looks like a mess and it's busted up. I use this palette a lot. I'm going to take this really dark brown shade here to deepen up my contour to bring more of that like bird-like situation that we want. So sort of like the opposite that I did with the last video where I sort of brought it from my eyebrow up in like a triangle shape. I'm kind of bringing it down from my hairline into like the centre of my forehead because I want the centre of my face to be really highlighted. But the problem with doing this is that this brush is quite long. So every time I dip into this palette to try and get just some of the brown shade, I end up getting some of this like shimmer colour next to it and it's mixing together and it's just really annoying. trying to bring like the bottom of the nose contour down to the tip of my nose in kind of like a triangle shape to get a like beak kind of effect I don't I don't know if it's working but I'm still pretty proud of this nose contour it looks very harsh but the technique is there I'm very aware that my eyebrows look very stark very dark and kind of sharpie-ish against the like lightness of my face but I did that on purpose and I think I'm gonna add some more like extra lines in the front the same how I did with the last look in pink I think I'm gonna do it in black though to make it look really like dark and raveny I don't know I'm taking this uh felt tip liquid liner I think this is from Ciate and I'm starting like right at the bottom front corner of the lash lash the eyebrow and I'm just gonna draw like hair like strokes upwards and in diagonal. I want these to come like quite far down though to sort of connect with the nose contour in a way because then it will continue that kind of bird effect. So I'm just gonna like flip them up and outwards and then even some into the brow so it kind of blends all together. You want some lines to be thicker than others so you can actually see that like I've done this on purpose and I'm not just going for that kind of sharpie brow look. Does this look bad or Neanderthal? I'm unsure. So I think I'm going to just leave the face like that for now and then for the eyes I don't want to do anything too too much because I want all of the attention to be focused on the lash so I think I'm just going to follow the sort of colour scheme that's in the lash so it's like these sort of neutral brownie bronzy tones there's some blues some greens and some purples in there so I'll see what I come up with. 
Keeping the look quite simple, I'm just starting by smudging the gold shade from that same Maybelline eyeshadow palette all over my top eyelid, just with my finger, then taking a clean blending brush just to blend out the edges. Next, taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Peacock, which I think is very fitting. It's just a shimmery blue shade, and I'm smudging that all along my lower lash line and winging it out slightly at the edge, and then setting it with these two eyeshadows from this Makeup Forever palette which I forget the name of, but as usual, all the products I use will be listed down below. I did already have some black pencil liner in my waterline, but I lost a little bit of it in the blending process, so I'm just adding some more to intensify it. And that's basically it for eyeshadow. I'm just finishing up the look with a really big black winged liner. I'm starting off the wing right on the seam line between where the blue and the gold eyeshadows meet. Then I'm bringing it down onto my lash line and drawing a nice thick line into my inner corner. Then I'm using that same felt tip liner I just used in my brows just to extend the inner corner of my eye to give me more of that bird-like look. Just to accent the brow hairs a little bit, I'm going in with a little bit of gold glitter eyeliner using the exact same technique I did before to draw in the brow hairs. What do we think so far? Do I look like a bird? I think so. And I should have done this on Halloween. Such a waste. So I was thinking to myself that a black lip would look really cool with this, but I don't own a black lipstick. The closest I own is a very dark blue and then I have this lip topper which is like black with kind of blue reflex so maybe we'll try that and see what happens. Exactly what I envisioned but I kind of live. Now just before I put the lashes on I remembered I actually have these face jewels. I don't think I'm gonna go with these top ones but I think this bottom one underneath the lower lash line like running parallel with this black wing that we already have going on I think that would look really cool. <laughs> Yes, is all I can say. Just yes. my final form if i'm being brutally honest with myself i think i like the other look better i think i like the other lashes better i think they're just a little bit like fluffier and gives you more of that effect whereas these are like very thick like when you look down and actually see the design of the feathers it looks really nice but i feel like looking up like this it sort of like takes away from the rest of the look. It sort of looks a bit like pantomime lash. And that's not to say I hate the lash completely. I just can prefer the other pair. Although these ones, because they're sturdier, were a lot easier to get on. I do still like the look as a whole though. So I probably would go somewhere and like recreate this look, but just put on like a more normal pair of lashes if there is such a thing. Maybe I think I just need to separate the two. Like if I just wore the lashes 
in themselves and made them like the focal point of the whole look they would look amazing and then if i just did the look by itself without the lashes that would look amazing but the two together is like too much going on and it doesn't really to me i don't feel like it looks cohesive like i was hoping it would in my head it just looks yeah there's just a lot a lot happening i still think the lashes are so cool though let me know what you guys think because despite all of this i'm still living my best life and i'm proud of myself for challenging myself like i was really inspired by the lashes and that's not something i've felt in a very long time like it's very hard for me to come by inspiration and i feel like they really just inspired me to want to create something that was really outside of my box so i'm thankful for that and i'm thankful that i actually managed to do it and i created two looks that i do still as a whole really like so yeah let me know what you guys think did i kill it or should i just fly away to a nest and never be seen again because that is it for the final look so i'm just gonna end the video here and say if you did like the video then let me know by liking the video as i said before leave a comment down below telling me what you think make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss what we have coming up next 2019 is going to be a very exciting year i can just feel it in my bones in my feathers i just know it's gonna happen so i'm gonna leave the video there and say bye guys i'll see you next time